recording. Let me just see if I'm up here for you guys. Uh, it's not a door. Okay. <laughs> Happy Monday. This is not pulling you up. Hold on. Let me see. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now you can't see my... Okay. Uh, is that better? Hopefully that's better. Yesterday you were way down here and now you're like way up here. Um, so... My weekend, um, very busy, great, but very busy. I, I had my son's birthday party on Saturday, so we did that. Um, it went really well, but I was exhausted afterwards. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and then, well, actually before that, I happened to come across this, um, probably 1990, early 1990s dollhouse on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was a really good price, but it's massive, first of all. It's meant for Barbie dolls, and it's all, like, 1980, no, 1990s pink, purple, and blue, like those light colors that are kind of sort of starting to come back, but not all together type of thing. Anyways, it's very pink, um, and, well, I won't, I won't say the word. But um, I got it because I want to renovate it and redo it. Um, I don't know why I decided I needed another project, but I did. Um, so I started yesterday demolishing it, taking apart, and starting to prime it, and worked on making some shingles and stuff. And I'm very excited because I figured out, and browsing like through my Crassifies and Michaels and all those other places. Um, that I'm going to use a bunch of my Stampin' Up! stuff to finish it. Um, which is not something I ever thought, like, who thinks, okay, Stampin' Up! Let's refinish the dollhouse. But, that's what I'm going to do. Our brick, um, our brick and mortar new embossing folder is, like, the perfect scale for the bricks on the side of this house. So, I'm going to, um, emboss a lot of white cardstock and have some white bricks. And I have some old, the old window dies. Um, the hearth at home ones that are now retired, but you might be able to find them somewhere out, like on a buy and sell site. Those, I'm going to use those. Those are the perfect size for like the windows and the flower boxes um, on the side. So I'm very excited about what this might look like. Um, but I spent last night, I was up to like midnight shingling half the roof. Um, anyhow, so for this morning, I had planned to do um, scrapbook pages with you. So I thought rather than start new ones, let's finish the ones that we started, that I started on Friday. And then you guys can kind of see my process for how I work through stuff. Um, I also had my first swimming lesson with my daughter today. So that was fun. I think she had a lot of fun. She's quite tired now. So hopefully she will nap for a good bit. Um, but let's get started. Um, today's Monday, so I will have some more news for you tomorrow my new box comes tomorrow yay I don't think it'll be here in time for this although because I'm doing it a bit later it might so fingers crossed I may be able to unbox and show you some new product if not um either Tuesday evening or Wednesday morning we'll do that um so for now I'm going to turn you around and we'll get started on our page um so if you missed last week let's turn you around we I started doing a layout um with a follow your art suite. Uh, let's see, can you guys see that? I think that's my full mat there. Okay. And so we had our layout done. So this is kind of what it was looking like here. I'm just going to make this full screen so I'm seeing. Let's see comments, I think. Sorry. Okay. Um, as they come up, hopefully. All right, um, so this is kind of the layout that we had going on. Um, but I like to do more um, mixed media, more stamping on my page. I'm not gonna do watercoloring because I don't have, it's not on a watercolor background. Um, but we're gonna go from there. Okay, so what I wanted to do, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use probably two sets and then maybe do a title also. Um, so I wanted to start stamping with these sequins just kind of on the background of my page. I don't really have a specific plan, but I kind of have an idea of what I want to do here. Okay. 
I also had some extra leftover die pieces that I had already die cut from our dies, so I'm going to use these on my page, the buttons and the lace and this little row of buttons here. Oh, where did my little block go? There it is. All right, so I'm going to start just with stamping some sequins. I think maybe I'll stick with the basic gray. Decide where I want these to go. Probably going to stamp a whole bunch over on this side and some of them are going to get covered and that's okay. I'll just color in the ones that kind of are hanging around. Leave this about where it's going to go. That way I know if I need to. I might have just stamped everywhere they're going to get covered. Okay, let's do this one. Summer. I'm gonna stick out on me a whole bunch. Might not color them all, but okay, leave that for now. I'm gonna grab my blank paper here. I think. What do I do? I know. I'm gonna do a few on this side. Just a couple. I don't want a lot over here. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my... Let's move this out of the way for a second. Some blank paper and I'm going to do my ribbon. stamp here. Some ink bottles. You can tell which stamps I've already used and which I haven't. Those buttons. Do I want to stamp? Maybe I'll leave that. I'll just do some. Oh, you know what I have? I have. I have my scissors. These I'd actually. See, I a pair up there. Did I pull them down already? Here. I actually done this. This is left over from another um, thing that I did. I did a gift box with these, these papers and I watercolored some scissors first. So I had some extra ones. So I thought I would go ahead and just fussy cut these out and add these to my page somewhere. I also have some extra 
watercolor um, in the Calypso Coral that I thought, hey, let's stamp on that and see what happens. Um, so maybe I'll do some buttons on that one. And then I can die cut them. We'll just see. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just use the die and just die cut some of this out with a paper clip or something. Okay, so we're going to leave it like that. All right, let's close this up. Then I'm going to color it. So I have Pacific Point Calypso Coral. Basic gray, um, crushed curry, yellow, and coastal cabana is the green. Don't think I have blends in. All right, those are my colors. Yes, blush and bride. Blush and bride. All right. All right. So let's do uh, color John and my refills. Let's do a blush and bride refill. I just realized what I did. Actually, no, I think that'll work. Uh, that can be the color part. So we're going to have it full of ink, right? So the refill itself is going to have the color on it. Okay. And down here, I guess, is color too. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's do another one think about how I want to do these. I might stamp another one. So we have our bottle that's full of our ink. Maybe you don't see the ink through the top. You just do it that way. You know what? I'm also using the wrong end of this marker. Easier if I use the little end. a little hard for me to demo this because I'm used to having the paper underneath me. Okay. Right, and then we'll do our label. We're doing down here. color this in a different color. Let me think about that for a minute. So, oops, get done with that. Why don't we do, we'll do some smoky slate here, I think, just on the, this part of the leaf. Why not? Alright. 
I'm trying to make it look realistic, not artistic. But it might look a better the other way. Okay. I'm not going to use this one. I'll just put an X for that. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's use this one. I'm using the wrong Do I still have that out? No, I'll stamp one more. You know what? Maybe I'll stamp two more. I'll do. Well, actually, what do I have? I need Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, and Crushed Curry, right? that and then let's color our ribbon so what do I want to do here let's do a Pacific Point and I'll do this one ever renovated a doll house? Got any tips for me? Curious.
Actually, I'm going to do that one in the darker. Alright. Um, okay. So those are going to get die cut out. Let's do our... I'm going to color my sequins. What are the outside ones for now? I wanted to match it to the paper. They have a paper. They just have the, just very colorful, but I don't want to match it to the paper. So I suppose I could though, right? We'll think about that. Okay. Pick points a little darker, you don't see the sequin as well through it. Oops. I won't use that one for too many of them. Do we want to make this like funky like the? Let's try one. Let's do. Alright, we'll do one. Let's see what you think. It's an artsy paper. I don't have white. Do a couple of like funky ones. 
and what else do we have? This one, oh, I did do more than that. This and here. and bright been done so I have to do quartz a quartz up here. Okay. If this wasn't being used with this paper I probably would not do this. But it is so we can make it look funky. Okay. funky bottles, a ribbon, maybe we'll do some funky ribbon too, I'm going with funky today, so let's do, do some yellow ribbon spools, how about that, some crushed curry ribbon spools. So for those of you who don't yet know, we've been using the Stamp and Write markers to do this coloring. They have two different tips, a brush tip and a pen tip. Um, so you can, whichever one you're more comfortable with using for coloring, you can use. Um, you can also use them for writing and for water coloring, um, which is fun. They are water-based and you can refill them with your ink refills. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these scissors out so I can stick them on somewhere. And this suite also comes with an embellishment box. So I'm going to pull out some of those embellishments and figure out how I want to play with them and include them on this page. Scissors. Doing it on camera or off. There we go. If you're fussy cutting, move the paper and not just your scissors. It makes it easier. Okay. Scissors. Alright, hurry for time. Alright. Alright, so we have our photo. Here's our layout again that we're working on. I'm going to stick this probably under here. And my photo is going to go on top of it. And this one will stick over here. Again, my photo is just going to go on top of it. And it'll edge it. Stick out of the way. I'm missing a piece for over here. I don't know where that ran off to. Okay. Um, it's probably underneath. Okay, I'm going to just rough cut these out because I'm not going to die cut them on the screen just because we're a little bit short on time. So I will die cut them later, but let's just kind of play around with where we want them to go and then I will die cut them and stick them down later. For buttons.
So again, I will be die cutting these, but for now. Cluster these all around here somewhere, and then do my ribbon. What I was actually thinking of doing is swapping the backgrounds. I haven't decided on that yet, but I'll see when I do my layout of my page what I like better, but I think I might swap these backgrounds here. I'm not loving that yellow spool. We'll see what it looks like when the page is done. Okay, and I'll color my sequins in there, but I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to swap these out. over there. Have my photo mats match the side of my paper. Throw this border down. Okay, and then probably throw the buttons. I should throw the buttons in over here. Over here. Have these watercolor buttons. Oh jeez. Okay. Probably throw these buttons in over here and the watercolor buttons I'm gonna throw in over here. Again, I'll die cut these out later. Probably going to get rid of that yellow. I'll just color some basic gray over top of it. I think. Darken it up a little bit. Okay. Cut those out. And then where is my embellishments? Okay, so I have, I divided up along embellishments by color. So have some arrows, some hearts, some, these Felt cutouts come in every every color um, that this suite comes in in the embellishment kit. So I'm probably gonna use like an arrow somewhere like that color. Eclipse of coral. Mm. Do paper clips. There's, oh, there's blushing bride paper clips as well. So I'll pull one of those out. But paper clips somewhere on this. I think I might even just stick it on my actual picture. Again, more of the felt pieces, so to add, well, I think I'll leave, just leave it like that for now. Where's my box? Here we go. And again, in the Blushing Bride, there's the pink paper clips. Even pull one of these out too. Throw those one of these on. Then I'm gonna do my title for my page. Not sure what I want that to be yet. Um, and then let's do. I'm gonna do the you paint my world with happiness, I think, for my sentiment, because I haven't used that in a scrapbook page yet. I've used it on a little, I don't think, I used it on a card. I haven't used that on my, on a page, so 
just going to stamp that and then I'll figure out how I want to add that in. Just going to do that in the middle. Black. Give myself room so if I want to die cut it I can. And then I'm going to use the um, dies, the prose dies, um, to do my title. And once I figure out what I want that to be. So I'm not sure yet. You guys have any suggestions? What, uh... Oops, I saw my snail flying there. Okay. I will die cut that out. So this, I think, is kind of how I'm going to do this. I'm going to recolor that. I really don't like that the crushed curry over there. Um, so I'm going to die cut these all, cluster these embellishments here, stick my sentiment in probably around here somewhere, um, and then figure out, probably put my title... Where do I want my title to go? I could actually put my title here. I'll probably put my title along here um, and then stick this in here somewhere. Um, whether I fussy cut that out or stick it on a die. And add these in on my pictures. My little border. Stick this somewhere. Maybe pointing at something somewhere. <laughs> and finish coloring my sequence. For the sequence, what I might actually, I'm not going to do it now. But I'm going to use my fine tip glue pen. This is our fine tip glue pen. I'm sure they have a new label by now. Um, and, oh, that's my extra spare one. That's the broken one. This is my good one. I haven't, yes. I think this is the one I haven't broken. <laughs> They're not both broken now. Okay. Um, and you can use this. It dries clear and shiny. Um, it also dries with some dimension if you bulk it up. So what I'll probably do is go back over some of my sequins and just put a circle of this glue over it. So it'll actually look kind of shimmery and sequin-like. Um, and do that. So I think that's probably going to be what my page ends up looking like. Um, I also like using the Artisan Texture stamp set on scrapbook pages. Um, so I might throw in a couple of those like paint smudges on it, especially because I decided to use the You Paint My World With Happiness expression on here. Um, so I might do that um, and just kind of splotch that around here. I'll grab it. So it's this stamp set here and it has different like textures and splotches and stuff. So I might like grab like this. I really like this one and stamp a couple spots here with some of the colors um underneath and then put and then put my photos and my embellishments on okay um thanks for watching guys hopefully i'll have this page done and up for you um if not uh today at some point tomorrow and i will see you tomorrow morning probably again about quarter after 10 or 10 30 thanks so much for watching bye